What is up, everybody? It is your boy T Macaroni, and we are back for round number two. All right, so we got a real powerhouse one here. So we have my homie Brian Adamo versus Zach R. Um, Brian is on that Android 17, um, and Zach is on that new FBO3 Sun Goku. So I was talking to Brian a little bit earlier, and um, he was telling me that he doesn't actually. Uh, hasn't played in a long while, but decided to go with 17 just because it is a very strong deck. And then Zach bringing that new FBO3 spice is going to be very interesting. Um, so Zach going second, so you definitely know these green players do not like being on the play, but still can work with it. Um, and here we're going to see uh, just one coming down, and that Dr. Giro being able to look at top five and yoinking a Android card. Um, and here we see him pull the four cost, a very powerhouse of a card, and definitely something gonna, we're going to be seeing a lot of in this matchup here. So, um, And this new Son Goku deck, for those of you at home that don't know what it does, it plays a very defensive game plan from what I can tell. Uh, it looks to kind of relax and stay back and survive until it can overwhelm you with these big blue targets that we know and love. Um, so it has a lot of draw power. So here we're going to see um, that is the one, the Earthling. Even I have to read it up as well. Um, that can search I forget her name she was in that one like weird arc of Grand Saiyan man so Erasa so you look at top five and you get to take one non Erasa with a cost of four and it has Satan uh, Satan City um, in its text and then uh, in its traits and put it to the bottom so basically it's a top five searcher uh, being able to bring the school and it looks like he's on his uh, uh, Satan City build here so no don't know too much how good it is but um, definitely gonna be looking forward to see the surprise of this deck so he was able to win round one so this is pretty good on his side here So just charging that uh, that six cost there, and a swing with leader. Nothing too surprising. One cost Goku, draw a card. All right, over to Goku here. And that's the thing with these big tournaments, right? Sometimes you kind of just get there with surprise factor. Just because you're, the, your, you, your opponent does not know how to play the matchup, you can definitely get some wins off just because your opponent doesn't know how to play around certain cards. So here we're going to see a one cost come down. And this one's another interesting one here. Another new card from FBO3. So this one is Sharpener. It says activate main. You can reveal the top card of your deck. Um, and if the reveal card has Satin City in it, during this turn, the next time you use an extra card from your hand, it costs one less. So it's kind of like the Boma from set one, um, where it can reduce the cost. So here we see him play the school, and the school has a, a bunch of text, so I'm going to actually read this one because I remember it has a lot going on. So it is a one-cost field card that says, activate main, you can play two to place this uh, card in its owner's drop. You have to look at the top three and take one battle card with a cost of four or less uh, with Satan City and its special traits and put the rest to the bottom. So basically it is another searcher as well and here we see the sun go gohan adolescence coming down here um, as well so 
so it looks like that was one of just board presents coming down. Very cheap board presents, and we like to see that. That's the type of thing I like to see when it comes to decks. Um, but yeah, new set, you know, new cards. Don't know what everything does, so we gotta go look back and, and read some of these cards. Um, but nothing wrong with that. Just to make sure we're giving y'all the correct information. Otherwise, it'd be kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, so that Gohan is going to be coming in for 25. I believe that Gohan is from set 2. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But I remember seeing this Gohan for sure. It's either set 1, 2, or 3. Oh, I mean, yes, it has to be one of those, naturally. Alright, so Brian going up to three energy here. I'm gonna tap two. Krillin's gonna come down. I'm going to look at the top 5, 4, and Android 18. It's going to get the 2 cost. And you see here, Brian is at 5 life already. And you don't mind this as an Android player because that, you kind of want to be on your awakened state as fast as possible. So here we're going to see a 20k swing coming in from this Krillin. Zack's going to take this pretty handily here. And now we're going to see a, another Dr. Giro coming down. And just so, so much searching, honestly, um, from Green. Just being able to dig, dig, dig. And another Android 18 is going to come down. And the four energy turn is very critical for the Android deck. Because that's where you want to see. And we're probably going to see <coughs> the four cost Android. Four cost Android uh, 18 that we saw earlier, Android 17, 18 that we saw earlier, getting off that first search, being able to trash three of your energy to restand three essentially. Just so much value. Okay, now we can see what that Sun Gohan does. That's why I wasn't able to see it, because it's a promo. Not often do we get to see the promos. So that Sun Gohan to on play if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand. You get to draw two cards and then place one um, from your hand on top of the deck. So it's a draw two, place one. You get to stack it up. And here you see he just um, is searching here gonna get the school play that school for free that's just a sign people just go to school <laughs> life is free if you get the if you go to school so anyways gonna use the sharpener to play that free school basically he can pay the two now and just crack it and get to dig a little bit deeper a lot of digging here i wonder what he's searching for Seems like that's what he's searching for here. He 
Brian just making sure you can uh, understand the card. So that is Videl. Very beautiful old art there of that Videl. I'm a little bit curious to see about this school here because I might just m have misread the school. Does the school also place them onto the field? Oh, it does. Okay, so I see. So the lines are kind of cool. So you basically get to dig for the the school, play the school, and then it plays a four cost with Satan City. Um, okay, I'm seeing the lines here. See guys, it just takes a little bit of time. <laughs> we all have those moments here, especially with these newer decks. I mean, the set is still pretty fresh, so not knowing what every card does, it does will come up a few times, and I take a little bit of time to search for it, right? But we, will, we eventually get there. Anyways. So, the school gets the pop for two, and then you basically get a cheat on, a little bit on cost for some cards. So, just reading up the Videl here. Um, also, let me pull up this Videl as well. Um, I have my little notes here. So, you know, you gotta check it up. I, this is not, is this the same two cost Videl here? Yes, it is. The one attacking, you get to pop, uh, bring back. Uh, non videl card yep so here we're gonna see gohan come in this is gonna be for a cheeky 35k gonna use full board to combo and you see this is not a bad play here because of androids and how that four cost works getting all of those cards into the bin uh, is not bad because now you have options because that's one of the biggest um, issues I found when playing this Android deck was when you want to play that four cost never had enough so i never could maximize the value and that sounds f extremely funny to say because you run so many targets but you also run a quite a few non-targets and the worst thing would be to play those early game and not see the android targets you need to see so sometimes you would combo awkwardly just to get a target in or whatever the case may be but seeing here comboing with the Dr. Jiro. Now you at least have two car targets in the bin for sure. So just them doing the math, making sure the math is correct. There is a w an awakened leader now. Brian on that swing being able to awaken that Android 17. Yep, and here we see them just making sure the numbers are correct here. Just taking there a little bit of extra time just to make sure um, we get the right combo values here and the sequencing and stuff like that because there is an awakening going on. So you got to make sure you have enough here. There we go. 
Can I draw the card for the awakening as well? I mean, it looks like everything's all good there. And the, for those of you at home, there is a stream judge there at any given time. So the judge is uh, also, um, once it comes to rulings and things like that to maintain the game state, there is a judge there. So shout outs to the judges as per usual. But anyways, a 25k swing with that Gohan ended up get, getting comboed out. So now this Videl is probably going to swing here as well gonna be able to get back the school and blue is just so good at recycling things man so much recursion it's insane so I'm gonna combo up 5k here with that android 18 it looks like This is going to be a leader swing. Leader swing coming in at 20k. Gonna do a, another little cheeky 10k combo. And that looks like just a pass over there. All right, so a lot of work for Brian to do here because this is some dangerous territory. Board is very wide here. So he hasn't ramped started to ramp as of yet so this is going to be the ramp turn for sure probably just going to jam the four cost android because you do go up plus one you have to put three and then three back so you're breaking even here about just about So here we're going to see Krillin swing for 20. This is going into Videl, and it doesn't look like any combo is going to drop here. And now here we're going to see the android coming down. I'm going to trash two. And then bring back three. So essentially you get to ramp one. And so here we're going to see a 25k swing uh, into that Videl. Ideally, you like to play the Android on five. This is because you can chain multiple and go like super wide. But doing it on four here is not bad either, especially if you have the two drop Android that says on play, you draw one discard. And then if you have six energy, um, you get to just draw one. That's not a bad target. If he has the, um, the destructive strength, being able to ramp that extra one off of that is also very good as well. So plenty of options here on three. So full three tap out. We're going to see the sun. Uh, oh, we're going to see the young trunks actually 
Uh, so able to ramp one because he is at five. So very well calculated turn there. Usually you don't see this too much in these builds, but it will seem like a new addition has been made. And here we're going to see a 30k swing with these androids. Going to go into this Videl. Brian really trying hard to get this Videl off the board. And it seems like he's finally successful. And just probably going to swing another 20k. Going to go into the Eraser. Maybe could have looked into trying to get that Sun Gohan off. And Sharpener still on the board, putting in a lot of value as well. So just playing it a little bit more methodical and trying to get uh, stuff off the board. And this is kind of what you like to see here as androids. You're kind of chilling. You have a decent little board here. Nice little um, tempo change there into the mid game. Getting all that value. And now... Zach's going to be going up to his four energy turn, and let's see what can happen here. We do know he has the one cost school that he recurred last turn off the Videl, so he can do some school shenanigans here for sure. Maybe even to um, go one, pop the school, look at top four, play something off, and then maybe set up into another school. That's also an option as well. Definitely some, he could recycle the school because that's lo what the deck is looking like it is doing, doing a bunch of recycling. So many options here. I'm going to play two for the Videl. This time just the regular Videl, not the, the beautiful old art. And now you got to make the decision, do I go to go to life or do I try to deal with the board? Like, what's the case? So here's the one attacking. One attacking is going to bring back the other school here. All right. Looks like he was going to life and just going to combo a 5k out. Nothing too surprising here. Going to use the effect. Going to play the school for free. And probably going to pop the school with the two energy that remains. I wouldn't be surprised here if he does that. I'm going to swing with leader here. And draw his one card. Had an additional 10k there and just gonna combo out pretty easily, no surprises there. Then gonna pop the school, gonna look at top four, gonna grab a Satan City and Earthling, and here we see a Sun Gohan Adolescence, aka Grand Saiyan Man, coming down now. So this one says on play, it is seven or fewer. You can choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards at the cost of three or less and put them to the bottom of their owner's deck. So you see here the Krillin got nuked. And now we see here 25k swing. Just going to combo out with a 10k. Here, another swing of 30k this time. He's 
just getting that super combo out. So that's one down, three more to go. And that's what you would love to see here as Sakar um, just super combo and only have one body on board. But it is Android. Don't don't count this deck out. Going up to six here, so what could possibly come down here is the double striker. We saw one in energy already. So yeah, on seven. So you know the next turn is gonna be that eight the eight special. And so we're going to see a swing here onto this Videl. Have to get rid of the, the, the recursion engine. That Videl has been putting in the work throughout this game. And we saw how last game, um, in the last round, how impactful Videl can be. Especially when she starts doing her recursion thing. Wouldn't be surprised if he tries the combo out of this. Wouldn't be a bad decision, honestly. Videl does give you a lot of ways to recur at that school, so you can start churning out the bodies there. Um, Decides to let it go. Okay. Just reading up on what the leader does on the back side. And here we're going to see another Android 17 18 coming down. So, going to pay four here. And it's going to end up trashing two to ramp. So we we'll still have six available here. Seems, yep, and then there's the double striker gonna KO both the Eraser and the Sun Gohan, um, Sun Gohan Adolescence. Definitely been looking for something to deal with that. And now this is gonna be a 20k swing now. Gonna combo out. And this is gonna be 30k. Where is the 32k going? Probably gonna go towards this Sun Gohan. Yep. Gonna draw one there. Is he gonna combo anything here? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yep. Decides to let the Sun Gohan go. And now the double striker is gonna come down. And that's gonna be two hits, sending him to three. Ooh, unfortunately, that's not where you want to. E. And this is what I'm talking about. We talked about it in the first round. And now here it comes again where playing that double striker and getting your opponent down, it's just so impactful. Uh, your opponent, now you like your opponent isn't able to awaken on curve and it just throws a wrench in their plans. For the Sun Goku, it doesn't matter too much, but like for a deck like Broly, for example, where you have to take a life, you go down to one life potentially, or uh, two life, sorry, uh, after awakening. So it's like a very bad position, but here we're going to see the waken, uh, the draw one, and now 
the stacking and defensive begins. So being able to make your leader a 30k, pretty solid, not going to lie to you, pretty, pretty solid. And I believe that's just for the one battle. Just for the one battle, you get to make your leader thirty-five, a thirty k. Sorry, so very similar to um, what Sun Gohan does as well. Very similar type of tactic, but in uh, <laughs> instead of being in green, you are now in a blue. So you're going to see the draw and place Going up to 30k. And that's another Sun Gohan adolescence coming down here. No real use of the on play here, but still just another body. You get to cheat out. You get to save one energy. Pretty good. Playing another school, so setting up for the school turn for next turn. Unfortunately for Zach, not really much going on here. It looks like he's ran out of steam after that board clear there. There's a lot of thinking going on. A lot, a lot of thinking. But yeah, so here we're going to see some combo getting dumped here. Yeah, this, this is a massive swing here. This is 45k coming down. Brian just handily combos out easily, no problem. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at, and, and boys and girls at home, this is where androids love to be. If you played any form of green deck, any anything at all, you know once it comes to the 8 energy or more turn, that's when you see the shenanigans start to happen. So, plenty of shenanigans we can see here. We can see the ACOS cell come down. We can see the... Um, the ACOS Broly also come down as well. Uh, like there's a full board on the side of Brian right now, and it's it's looking disgusting right now. But let's see what he decides to do. So here we're gonna see a Sun Gohan come down. I'm gonna draw a card. Always good to do that. And 
he has eight. He has eight. He could also go super wide as well. Um, seeing that he does have access to those androids, he could do some shenanigans with that as well. So we're going to see a swing here first. This is going to be a 30k swing going into face. And Brian can definitely press for game here. Um, just because of the threat that is looming. If he drops a Broly here, he can go 45-45. Uh, and then go into a double striker. Um, plenty of options. Yep, so here, yeah, so not even going for that. Just gonna go, looks like he's going wide here. So we're gonna see Android 18 come down. So this one says, uh, on play, you draw one, discard one, but if you have six when attacking, you can get to draw a card. So it looks like he doesn't have the A cost here to follow it up with. Uh, so here we're going to now, going down to two life, going to swing with the double striker. How much will he be willing to dump into this here? So going to, yeah, it looks like Brian is going for the full combo, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, and then that's the GG's. Brian end up taking round two. I had to fight for that one a little bit, but um, Zach gave him a bit of a fight. Very unexpected to see this type of style of deck uh, with the blue Goku, but Androids is very strong right now and was able to take it. Uh, so shout outs to Brian for going on to the next round. Um, and speaking of the next round, that's round number three. So we got seven rounds, we got 132 players, so it's going to be a long, long day of Fusion World. My name is T-Mac once more, and I'm going to be your commentator through this this tournament here. Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned, get, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you in round number three of the Fusion World Regionals, Niagara Falls, August 31st edition. Peace.